Those who struggle with ADD, depression, ASD, and many other underlying mental health issues quickly learn to mask in order to fit into society and appear normal to friends, family, and work colleagues. Well, there's been one primary mask I've been wearing since my teens. Let's just call it conservative evangelical Christianity. And not content with plain vanilla Christianity, I gradually went deeper down the rabbit hole and embraced the Reformed faith, also known as Calvinism, for the next 30 years, from 1980 to 2010. This lunacy impacted my entire life and the lives of my wife and four children. Looking back, I can see that Christianity in general and Calvinism in particular were the driving forces behind every major life decision. I uprooted my family to far-flung places like rural Michigan, the valleys of South Wales in the United Kingdom, and even the panhandle of Northwest Florida. And the price has been incalculable because, like a fool, I did not focus on a sensible career trajectory that would have given a hell of a lot more financial stability than a pitiful Social Security check in my retirement years. No savings, no pension to fall back on, nothing. I jumped from job to job and whatever I could find to pay the bills while obsessed with providing leadership to small, struggling churches who could not afford to pay a full-time pastor. I pissed away my entire adult life in short stints of retail management, banking, accounting, marketing, and publishing. You see, the church was my first love. Everything else was just a temporary mistress. Strangely enough, it took five years of ministry in the valleys of South Wales before I finally came to my senses. I had obtained a Minister of Religion visa that did not allow any other type of employment in the UK. Once I decided that it was time to put religion and organized Christianity in my rearview mirror, I moved back to the States in May 2009 and almost immediately landed the best job I ever had. I was hired as a federal background investigator carrying a shiny silver badge that belonged to the U.S. Office of Personnel Management, or OPM, and conducting investigations for military, civil servants, and defense contractors who needed a top secret or other security clearance. The pay and the benefits were amazing. In fact, 10 years as an investigator probably doubled or tripled my monthly Social Security check compared to what it would have been otherwise. Still, it's not much. <laughs> so I left Organized Religion in May 2009 when we moved back to the States from the UK. Believe me, it felt really strange, especially since I had been an ordained Southern Baptist or SBC minister since 1982. Although I freely admit going through a withdrawal process in that first year, which included feelings of guilt, it was the best thing I could have done, and it has enabled me to gradually take off the Christian mask and discover a more genuine reflection of my true self. I no longer consider myself a Christian. There. I finally said it out loud for all the world to hear. I'm going to stop here and just say bye for now. I hope you have a good day. I appreciate all of you. Take care.